morning. It's like, I don't even know what time it is. 10, 30, quarter, 11, something like that. And I need to run to City Hall to vote. Um, I'm going to be gone next week. And I wanted to, I was pretty sure, well, I missed the absentee thing, but I can just go there and do it in person, which is just fine. It was funny. I put my rings on. Um, it was funny. She said, well, you're going to have to come and do it in person, as if that was like some big inconvenience. I was like, no, no. I mean, like, people must be, must be, I don't know. In general, I think a lot of people are complainers about that sort of thing. I'm like, it's fine. I, I'm the one that can't be here when it's time to vote. So, anyway, I'm going to go do that. Bob is actually done with work already. Um, and he's going out to the woods. He ran to get, I was supposed to go with him, but I was on a call I could not get off of. I was taking my lunch early. I was going to, that was weird. My watch started talking to me. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I was supposed to go with him to get the stuff for the, the pancake records, but I could not get off the call. I was intending to take my lunch really early, shop with him, get my voting done, that sort of thing, but I guess I'm just going to get my voting done, and um, that'll be that. So, anyway, so I would let you guys know what's going on this morning. <laughs> just not the morning I thought it was going. Hey, guys, that was so easy peasy. I was there and back in like 10 minutes. Easy peasy. Um... In my head, I always thought that you had to, like, mail in an absentee. I didn't realize that you could just go there and vote early if you were going to be out of town like me. Get my bag off my arm. So, yeah, easy peasy. Um, now I need to get back to work because that means that I can take, I can still take my normal lunch. And I better come grab this. Um, I can take my normal lunch and go for my walk. So, I'm not sure what that is. That's good. Seriously. I need to get a grip. Oh, I need my phone. All right. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys. Good morning, everybody. It's a little bit after 11, um, Saturday morning. And uh, I'm, I'm just coming to you now because <clears throat> I got up. And you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to turn the Badger's game on, but I think I'll just listen to it on my phone while I'm wandering around here. Um, I had a friend of mine that I did her hair and makeup for a wedding and I did her mom's makeup for the wedding. So I've just been in here cleaning up. It pretty much, it's pretty much back to normal. I had stuff strewn everywhere, but I need to get this extension cord out of here. And this is my um, kit that I use. Um, it's got a little thing on the back, but I can use just like the top part, the top two parts or the whole thing, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, and I have no recollection where I got that from, quite honestly. I feel like it was Holt Look, but I could be wrong. So I did all of that and just kind of worrying. I had to grab something. You can see my suitcase there. I had to grab something out of my travel. There's a particular concealer. It was the MAC Pro Longwear that I wanted to use. So I had that pulled out, but I need to pack anyway. I don't have any other commitments today. It's really odd. That's not like me at all. I usually have a ton of commitments, as you guys know. But not today. But I'm all dressed and ready to go. So I'm going to film, I think, a video on my other two travel bags, unless Wilson texts me. She is, she was doing something this morning, and then we're going to go to a craft fair in town. So I'll try to get some stealth footage of the craft fair. I don't like to be too crazy with the camera when I, um, boy, I'm really warm. Whew, because the heat's on. I turned it on for people coming to my house. Normally I wouldn't have it on this early in the morning. <laughs> early? It's, it's 11 o'clock. On my eyes today, by the way, let me just show it. Let's just have a little, where can I put you? I'll just put you right here. Um, I've done, I've been showing this on live, so what I'll show you guys Becca sent me this kit. I have it put back together here, but I had so many requests to do. This is just a one shadow look. I added a little bit of Blanc type and um, at the end a little soft brown. None of that was necessary though. I just did. But so this is the Chrissy, Becca um, by Chrissy Cravings kit. Sephora, Ulta, Becca. I think you can find it in any, any of those places. Does it say? It doesn't here. But anyway, I used this shade. And the shade is in Cinnamon Churro. And then I also have the highlight. It's like a souffle. Oh, so pretty. I can't. 
Um, the, I don't have the lip on right now. I have, I've had it on yesterday, I think, but it's this Lip Souffle. And it is in the shade Red Velvet, and that's in the kit as well. And then this Glow Powder in the shade Cinnamon Sugar. And it's just a nice little size. I, I really think like, I really think like, I really think this is a nice kit and you guys would like it. The other kit that they sent me, I was, I've pretty much wiped it off at this point, but I was wearing one of the shades in there in Sugar Plum. It's the lip glosses, the lip glows, I think is what they're called, that I love so much. Let me just, yeah, lip glow, lip icing glow gloss kit. So it has these four shades in it. I'll, uh, I will find a link below for you guys. I was so excited that they came out with, one, with a glow gloss kit. I was so excited that they came out with a glow gloss kit. Let me just put this back on. You, I mean, you just don't even know. I love a little mini. Although, if you guys watch my lives, you know I could not get the red one open to save my soul. I had to use a pliers. And I ruined the cap. So now, I'm going to show you. Now the cap is less than delightful. And whatever. I got it open and it was worth it because it's really pretty. So, all right, having said all of that, uh, I'm going to grab, grab those two other two kind of travel bags that I have. I think I'll put those into one video and um, show because I had so many questions after I did the makeup one as far as, you know, what else do I bring along? So I'm going to do a quick video on those while I wait for Wilson, since I seem to be all cleaned up in here. I'm going to put my kit back in. Oh, maybe I can get rid of my coffee cup too. Put my kit back in. I keep it in my office because there's no room. This because it's tall in the closet in that room. It's all shelves, and there's no room for it to stand up. So I have a spot in here. All right, it's about quarter after twelve, and I'm just waiting to hear from Wilson. Did I tell you I'm going to a craft fair today with Wilson? No. Well, I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> Bagel popcorn. Is that popcorn even any good anymore? What? Yeah. Um, what did you think of the coffee that Kristen got for it you? It was very good. Wasn't it? Very good. It was just German chocolate. Is that all it was called? Or was it German chocolate cake? Just German chocolate. German chocolate. I think it might have been cake. I can't remember. Because you could, I could taste the coconut in it. Yeah. It was Door County Coffee and Kristen from Kristen 3 to 1, she um, bought it for Bob as a birthday present. So we pulled out the coffee maker today. And um, actually, why don't we should leave that out, honey, and use up some of that other. We have some pumpkin spice we can put in there. Tomorrow before church. Okay. So, I filmed a video. I filmed my other make, my other bags aside from my makeup, like my other travel bags. I filmed that. So, I think I'm just gonna sit down and work on editing that while I wait for Wilson. She's. This is what she said. She's like, I'm on the phone with my sister, her sister that lives in New Mexico. She's like, we can go to the craft fair after that if you want. And I was like, okay, sounds good. But this could be a two-hour conversation. I don't know how long she's been on the phone with her sister, so. I probably have time. Good afternoon, everybody. It's about 1 o'clock, and it has been a busy day. We were at church this morning, um, about quarter to 8, and we had the pancake sausage breakfast this morning with stewardship Sunday, and so um, we were busy doing that. And then there's a meeting after church about the Christmas parade that's coming up that our church hasn't participated in the past, but we're going to participate in this year, so that should be fun. And so we, were, so we stuck around for that because we're going to help out with that. And then came home and unpacked all the stuff I used for the pancake breakfast. And mom and dad stepped over because I had to give them something. And now I'm working on chili, as you can see here. And this actually is for, um, what is this for? Wednesday. I traveled this week, but I'm home. My plane lands really early Wednesday. Like I take off from Dayton at like six o'clock in the morning, and I'm home because I gained an hour coming back. Um, so I land at like nine o'clock or something. So I'll come home and plug in the crock pot, and, and dinner will be ready for us Wednesday night, which will be good because I'll be tired. So that's what's happening so far. Today I'll show you what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Um, one of these things that Paul had suggested. Oh, actually, I'm gonna hit. Where did I put it? Uh, I'm actually going to have dinner with Paul and his husband um, 
on Monday. So I'll try to remember to vlog some of that. And that's Paul from Paul's Rule of Thumb. He's been a friend of mine since college, since 1992. I'm pretty sure I met him my sophomore year, 92. Anyway, he had shown these in an Aldi haul, and the, that when I went to Aldi the time after that, I picked up some of them. And so we're going to try this one. It's a sweet and sour chicken. So you really just need chicken and this sauce, and then you put over rice. I won't have mine with rice, but I'll make some um, one of those packages of brown rice for Bob to have his over. I'm sure people would, most people would prefer white rice, but we do brown rice here, so. Anyway, that's what's going on. I've already worked on my laundry. I did edit a video, and I have that uploading right now. I edited it before church, because I was up early, early. Because the hour change, I still woke up, so. I started my laundry before I left, and then we also have to get the house ready for having our carpets all cleaned and our floors, the hard floors cleaned, like the grout cleaned and all that. So, that's going on. Bob's on vacation tomorrow, so he's going to help me in the morning, and hopefully we get it all done before the guys get here and before I leave to go catch a flight. So, that's what's going on. They might be checking later, they might not. I guess it just depends on what happens. So... It's 3 o'clock and I left my house this morning at 10. My flight was supposed to be at 11.40 and to pause for the announcement. So um, we got on the plane uh, to Minneapolis. That was my first hop. I was supposed to be going, I think I told you guys yesterday, I was supposed to be into Dayton at like 6. And then I would be having dinner with Paul and his husband Josh. <laughs> Well, that's not happening because um, my flight, we got on the plane and there was something wrong with it, which I would rather get, I, I mean, I'd rather be safe than sorry, obviously. But we sat on the plane for an hour, got off, and um, then they still haven't fixed that plane. I don't even know, but I just got on the phone, right. I got in line, but then I got on the phone right away because I'm smart, and got on a flight into Detroit and then Detroit to Dayton. So I'll get in tonight at 10 o'clock instead of at 6 o'clock. So that's kind of annoying, but what are you gonna do? It is what it is. So yeah, I'm just, I was just on the phone. I, I walked around the airport a bunch. I got about 7,000 steps walking around the airport. And um, I had some soup, sorry you guys, I'm, I'm vlogging with my phone. I had some soup for lunch and um, walked to the mall. I was on a conference call. I made some calls and now I'm just chilling. I have like an hour to lay board. Food. Not very happy. But what are you gonna do? It's just, that's just the way it goes sometimes. You guys, this is the glamorous life of a sales rep. <laughs> it's 1021. And um there we go. And I'm finally in my hotel room. I mean all the, all my flights ended up being once I got on them ended up being just fine, but well the last flight was kinda of turbulent. But anyway, it was it's been a weird travel day. I posted on Instagram a picture of uh, me sitting on the floor to eat my subway. I didn't say that. I just it said that I was sitting on the floor because there are so many people with like bags on chairs and stuff that like looked up at me and they just were not interested in moving their bags so I could sit down. So I sat on the ground. Because, you know, sometimes you get to the end of the day and you're just like, I shouldn't have to beg for a place to sit. This lighting is terrible, but you know, it is what it is. So anyway, I'm setting up my CPAP. I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth, and fall into that bed. And get up at five o'clock. <laughs> so, because I have an hour from where I need to be tomorrow. Actually an hour and 15. And <clears throat> I couldn't remember if there was coffee anywhere near here. And then I drove by Tim Hortons, so I'm excited about that. I do like Tim Hortons, I don't get it, get it very often. I just wish they offer sugar-free. They don't offer anything sugar-free, which is a bummer. All right, so yeah. So I'm gonna bid you good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. I am home. It's 10 o'clock. I've had two coffees and a large shy Coke already. Well, I'm working on the large shy Coke, because I had to get up at three to make my flights and everything. 3.30. I had, no, let me rephrase. I got up at 3. I had to leave by 3. I had to get up by 3.30, but I was awake, and so I just got up. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And I'm here to tell you I've not gotten a lot of sleep, so I might be a little slap happy here in the next couple of clips. Um, I had, I think I vlogged 
if I remember right, about how I got in way later than I was supposed to on Monday. And then I had a 12 hour plus day yesterday and I did go to bed about 8, 8.30. I could not fall asleep to save my soul. Um, yeah, so yeah, not a lot of sleep. That's, that's what it was on too, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep, I just gotta keep moving, right? So on my way home, I stopped, there's a, <laughs> I decided to vlog this because it's probably, I should light my candle. This probably is not normal in most places. Oh, by the way, we got our carpets clean and our floors clean and they look amazing. Like, that's what the grout's supposed to look like. I'm, oh, this battery's almost dead. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I'm gonna talk very quickly. So, um, let me show you the butter. This is what I'm doing. I'm splitting up butter uh, because we have, there's a creamery kind of close-ish to my house that you can go, I don't even know this, you can go on Wednesdays and buy butter by the case. And there's 36 pounds in a case. And it breaks down to $2.50 a pound for butter and it's really good butter. So pretty excited about that. I had to pick up two cases for the candy store because they couldn't get there today. And then I picked up a case of quarters that we're gonna split between us and listen, Muppet, Kurt and Karen. Um, and so I'm doing that for toffee because I use a lot of butter for toffee, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would tell you guys that that's, that's one of the beauties of living in Wisconsin. It might be 30 degrees outside right now, but we can get really good butter at a really good price. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I came out to stir the chili because if you guys remember, I made chili this weekend. I think I vlogged about that. I don't remember. But anyway, the chili... Is doing its thing. I wanted to see kind of how normally I plug it in like six or seven o'clock in the morning, just put it on low all day long. But because I didn't get home till 10, um, I started it on low at 10 and it still doesn't feel like it's doing its thing, so I've jacked it up to high. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys a couple of things. Um, so actually, I put it away. Let me just, I'll show you guys up here. So um, this one. And those two <laughs> are pots of, totally just dropped the camera. Uh, I did a little swap with um, a subscriber. She has been a subscriber for eons. And so we did a little swap, some coffee for um, a bronzer that she couldn't find, that I could find. And it's, it was just the found bronzer, which I can, I can get here at our Walmart, but she had searched a bunch of Walmarts and couldn't find it. Anyway, um, so I said, well, it's not that expensive, just just one thing of coffee, and of course she sent me three. <laughs> Seriously, Ms. Coffee. I actually call her Ms. Coffee because her, um, she likes to remain incognito, and her Instagram name has coffee, and that's why I call her Ms. Coffee. Anyway, she also sent this, and I have not tried this at all. It's the Frank Body Anti-Drama Face Mask. So I'm going to have to do a little research on that. I'm not familiar with that one. So I'm excited to try that. And then my next order of Lash Boost came in, and I have one I haven't even opened yet. It's my own fault. i got to tell you, it's the one thing that drives me crazy about Roden and Fields. I don't really know. I think the only way for me to get that price, which is $150, it's not inexpensive, is for me to go on the automatic shipment. Otherwise, I think it's more expensive. And... If you forget to go in and change it, then you get it. Ugh. Anyway, it drives me bananas. But I like the product, so I deal with it driving me bananas. I dumped out my Diet Coke in here. I, there was still some ice in the sink that apparently was driving me crazy, too. So I am dragging some serious behind it. Oh, by the way, she sent this cute thank you note. I love the front of it, actually. And um, inside was some really, she was real funny. She said she wanted to espresso her thanks. It, it actually cracked me up. I gotta go put it in my, um, I have a little box that I keep everything that I've ever gotten from you guys in. Anyway, I, you can tell I am running out of steam and it's only one o'clock. However, technically, I've been working since three o'clock central time, four o'clock Eastern time, when I, because we're kind of technically working from the minute we leave the hotel, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I still have some things to do, some emails to finish, but I am dragging some serious butt. So I don't know, I may actually just set my alarm and see if I can nap for 30 minutes or something. I was going to walk on my lunch, see if that would perk me up. Nope, that's not happening. Nope. <laughs> not 
time today. Sometimes you have to know when to draw the line. So anyway, I feel like I have, I've, I have, I can't even form a sentence. I have a lot of my check-ins lately just standing in the kitchen, but you guys, our carpets look so good. I'm so happy. So I have to tell you this, let's have a little discussion about this. I was saving the discussion for when I was with Paul, my friend from, well, he's been my friend since I was, I met him when I was 19, I think. So we've been friends for eons, but he has his own channel now, Paul's Rule of Thumb. Anyway, I came over here to show you guys how dark and dreary it is. This is, once the leaves are down, this is, this is fall and winter in Wisconsin. My neighbor's building a shed, too. He had to outdo Bob just a little bit. <laughs> his is bigger. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's just kind of blah. It's not helping my tiredness, either, i got to say. So... That spot over there has had this tall, tallish, um, turning thing. It's wooden. You guys probably have seen it, or maybe you haven't. I don't know. That holds CDs and DVDs. And my friend Paul was kind of giving me crud about it. Because, oh, boy. i got to fix this. Bob, God bless him. He put the, I mean, he was putting the house back together while I was gone after the carpets were cleaning and he is thinking, I mean, how do you live here and not know where things are, where I put things? Like, <laughs> I realize it's more important to me than it is to him, but, um, like, the lanterns he had completely on the opposite sides of where they were. And I don't understand that because how did you, how do you not notice those? Anyway, <laughs> okay, so my friend Paul, the turning thing that holds the DVDs and CDD, CD, CDDs, CDs, he's like, yeah, so it's kind of an eyesore. <laughs> he was just giving me um, some crap about it. And he's right. I mean, I, the only reason I had it up here is I don't even, I don't listen to those, I don't listen to CDs anymore generally unless it's Christmas time and I'm not, we don't, I don't watch movies in the DVD player as a general rule. So we are gonna put it downstairs, but I needed something to hold the lamp over there. So anyway, I ordered a table from Wayfair that should be here tomorrow that will go over there. It's kind of, um, I think it was, the wood was called espresso. So it's gonna be a little bit darker. It's going, I kind of, I used to like insist on all my woods being the same. Like they all had to be medium oak, whatever. And I have learned with Paul helping me actually to appreciate having different woods within your house. So like you guys have saw, you know, everybody likes the, the green painted buffet that I have for, that has our TV on it. And you can see, <laughs> I'm laughing that Bob has this handle like sticking straight up. Let's put that down a little bit. Um, so like this has some more darkness to it um, than this one. This this is even a different tone. So you know what I mean? I, I've kind of learned, trying to learn to appreciate that. So I ordered, um, it's an end table. So it's about as high as this one. It's, 20, it's two foot high and just a foot wide and two feet long. And I think that will work perfectly in this little spot over here. And then my lamp will go back on that, <laughs> not, on the hand, uh, not on the coffee table. And that coffee table looks like it's in a funny place too, I gotta say, but we'll see. It's too close to this, I can tell, because when I sit here, you know, I put my feet out in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how many chairs I can sit in. I'm so tired, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to stop whining. I'm going to put this coffee table back where it belongs. And, um, oh, there's a little plastic thing underneath here. And, yes, that's what's going to happen. But anyway, so the table's supposed to come in tomorrow. I'm assuming it'll be pretty easy for me to put together, so I'll show you guys when it gets here. But, all right, I got I to gotta get back up. I got to go finish a couple of things and maybe more coffee. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning. And I was just changing out of my <laughs> comfy clothes I've been sitting in today. I'm having lunch with some friends today. So I thought I would show you guys a couple of the things that I got. Let me see if this will help. A couple of things that I got from my, I did the trunk club again this month. It wasn't as successful for me, but 
you know, most of that is that a lot of the, the a lot of the shirts that she sent fit me everywhere but my arms. I my arms are just bigger. I have that's where I carry a lot of weight for some reason. And so I gave her feedback on that and you know, she responded to me right away and said, "Okay, great. I'll just note that you know, I send you different fabrics and that sort of thing." But I really like the trunk club. If you don't know what that is, I'll explain it to you in just a second. Um, I'll actually sit down and talk to you guys um, versus me trying to do it while I'm standing here. So anyway, <laughs> spit it out, game. She, um, you, you, you I kind of give her the feedback and then she adjusts. So if you've ever done trunk club before and you didn't have really maybe the best experience, you really have to give them feedback. Be honest with them and they will, you know, then you're them being your stylist and they'll change some things. So anyway, so this, I, I only kept three things this time, so I didn't do a full video on everything. But one of the things I kept is these jeans, this sweater shirt. It's really thin, so I hesitate to call it a sweater. And then another pair of pants that I'll show you when I, they're a black pair of black jeans. But, so I'm not going to wear this just like this, but I wanted to show you. This is really thin, so I don't always love when you can see, like, the pants through there. You see what I'm saying? But I'm going to wear this with a jacket. I would never... And, ever really just wear this by itself maybe with a black like work pair of pants or whatever but anyway so these are not your daughter's jeans and they're a new kind of here let me let me grab the card here look i found these in my sweater chest when i was cleaning it out and i was like well i'll just leave them there for now because <laughs> you know the season's coming upon us so let me just see they came in a size 18 and they're called Future Fit Denim. These are the Maryland Straits, by the way. But there was some other word that it was called. I can't... Oh, Lift and Tuck Technology? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> they could Lift and Tuck a few more things besides. But anyway, they actually look... It's hard for me to show you, but they, they do look really good on my behind, I think. <laughs> anyway. So that, and then you can see the bottom of them. I'm just, I just put them on with a pair of boots that I've had forever and ever. Amen. And then the shirts from Halogen. And I'm not sure if you can see, let me try to do it this way. Can you see that it has a little bit of gold threading through it? I can't tell through the camera what you can actually see. But I just thought it was, and this neck is something different for me too. I don't, that's kind of one of the reasons why I started doing Trunk Club was that it would push me out of the things I always buy and look the same and that sort of thing. So I really liked the the neck being just something different than what I normally do. And I'm going to show you, I haven't quite decided I'm going to pair it with one of my jackets. I don't know what which one yet, so I'm going to go dig in my closet and I'll come back and show you. So as you build your wardrobe with Trunk Club, she will, she your stylist, they could have male stylists. I don't know. I'm saying she because mine is a she. So she will pair things with other things that you've purchased in the past. So she showed a picture where this shirt was paired with this jacket. Now, I mean, in theory, I, I could I could understand that because the colors are complementary. But I think the one thing that they can't really tell when they're styling you is like necessarily where neckline would fall. So I don't love this shirt with it. This is what it looks like. You know, kind of from here down focus okay to get it to focus so you know <laughs> from here down I, I don't mind how that looks but I don't like this at all so but I wanted to show you how I in theory I understand the idea of it I just don't think that it works necessarily because of this neckline by the way I curled my hair and I was on a conference call today and I was like I have all kinds of time let's just see what it looks like with a really small curling iron like three quarter inch and um and curling my whole head and this is what it looks like so we're hoping that tomorrow it looks better let's just leave it at that so this is a jacket and i love how this kind of milk chocolate brown looks with this blush color and so this jacket is from maurice's i'm quite certain they don't have it anymore maurice's stuff really tends to come and go very quickly but anyway so this is what i think i'm going to wear it with i like the neckline wise that works a little bit better so um and you can these sleeves you can you can push i was like i was just vlogging like with the camera like right here that makes no sense so i like myself in a 
So I like myself in a three quarter inch or three quarter length sleeve the best. So I have that pushed up. You could, I could unroll the, that and have it come all the way down and that would work as well, be a little bit warmer. But anyway, so I just thought I would show you guys what I ended up doing. The other pair of pants that I got is from Wit and Wisdom and they are black. Um, they must run smaller because these came in a 20. They fit. They're a little bit big, but I just prefer things to be a little bit big. So I just decided to let that go. I'm trying to see what it's called. It doesn't really say, oh, there's another. It's called the Bitty Boot, the Itty Bitty Boot. So I'll, um, I'll ins either, I'll probably just insert a picture of them because I don't know when I'll actually wear those. I may wash them and, and take them on my trip, but uh, next week I'm just traveling for work. So I'm going to go find some earrings to stick in and I'm going to head off to have lunch. We're looking at these boots. They probably would look better with this than these, but, <laughs> and they actually, I'd have to look to see if she paired them. Well, she probably wouldn't have because of the, she didn't have this jacket, but, but I was looking at those and I was like, boy, I bet those would be cute too, but I don't have time to change. So, all right, now I'm really going. Good evening. It is 530. My face is washing me in my jammies already. Um, the end table came in, so I'm watching SEAL Team right now, and I'm going to attempt to put this end table together myself. I think I can handle it. How hard can it be, really? So, let me see if there's a way for me to grab this. There is. So, I'm going to try to do that. I just had some chili. Um, this time of year is tricky as far as Bob and I eating together. Because he's in the woods until, well, it's dark now, but um, he's got to get out of the woods, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I heated up chili and left his on the stove so he can just, fin you know, like reheat it a little bit. When he gets back, and that'll be dinner. We had the chili supper at church tonight, but Heidi, Jimmy, and the girls weren't going. I wasn't sure what time my parents were going. Plus, I'm going to see my parents um, Saturday for canning applesauce. So, that was weird. My phone just rang like one ring, and that was it. Uh, anyway, so, getting scissors to open that package. So, I just decided to stay home and not, and not go, and it'll be fine. We just handled the porky pancake breakfast the other day, so... All right, on that note, I'm going to work on this, and I'll, I'll show you when it's done. Good morning. It is 12.52. I'm on my lunch. I just had to take off my, these are the blue, those blue whatever glasses. I've tried to remember to wear them when I'm working on my computer, but I want to check in so it's Friday. I feel like I'm all over the place today. Uh, I've gotten a ton of ton accomplished, but I have a lot more to get accomplished before I leave. Work-wise, I mean, so I'm gone next week. I think I told you guys that for work, I'll be out in Washington State. And I've not been out there before, so I'm kind of excited about that. I have three minutes left on my timer here. I'll tell you what I'm making. But I just had to stop a little yawn there. So, anyway, I'm going to be a little bit, like, out of sync with my customers because I'll be on Pacific time, right? Pacific time? Yeah. I'll be on Pacific time just two hours earlier than Central time. So it's three hours earlier than my East Coast customers. So that's going to be a little bit tricky. So I'm just trying to be as caught up and on top of things as humanly possible. So I decided I was going to try these cinnamon cookies that came in this Becca kit. I got this kit from Becca that had the eyeshadow and stuff. Anyway, in the back of this is these cinnamon cookies, and it's just made 12 of them. It's like a smaller recipe, and I thought, well, what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. So that is focus. There you go. Those are the ingredients, and that part. I'm doing this so people that want a screenshot can, and that part, and that part. So... I had a conference call earlier today that was kind of, I was going to carry this over there, 
to put away with one hand, but I thought I better make sure the door is open before I do that. Um, oh, it is. Anyway, so I made the dough, which took me all of like 10 minutes maybe, while I was on this conference call. I mean, just get it together, game. Anyway, I was looking at the timer to see what, I have 45 seconds left before these ones. Anyway, the, they're for cinnamon cookies. And not only is the, are they like rolled in cinnamon sugar, like a normal snickerdoodle, but there was cinnamon in the actual recipe, or in the actual cookie part too. I was like, I need to try these sooner rather than later. So I'm kind of on my lunch, though I'm not really taking a lunch. I just am baking these cookies. <laughs> so I have to show you guys as soon as I pull these out. Let me just check them. Hold on. Well, they look delightful. Um, they shifted around. They were in balls. And then you roll the balls in cinnamon sugar. Anyway, I'm going to let those cool before I bake the other ones. Uh, anyway, I want to show you guys this pullover. I got it at a boutique in town, but I found it online. It is so cozy and comfortable and soft and warm, but not too warm. Big fan. Big fan, and I was, I was wearing it on Instagram earlier today just when I was sitting talking, and I had a bajillion questions in a matter of like five minutes asking me about it, so I was like, well, let me go and find it. So I found it online because you can't, the boutique I bought it from, they don't have it available like that you can buy, for, you know, they don't have a website. So anyway, and they only had a couple in store because that's how it works. So I don't even know what the name of the brand was. Something with an E. Doesn't matter. I'll just do it. So this is what it looks like. I just think it's so cute and like I said, so comfortable. You can wear it with leggings, obviously. They have it, I don't know if they have it in straight sizes. I'll have to look. If they do, I'll try to link that too. But this is, they, this, they had extra large, 1X and 2X, and this is an extra large. It just has the cutest, like the, the zipper being rose gold. I don't have anything like that. It's, it's kind of holiday-y, but not over the top holiday-y with the gold within the um, within the sweater pullover. I think they call it a pullover. I don't know. Anyway, I'll list it below and I'm really happy with it. I got a couple other sweaters there. One of them I'm just not really sure if I'm going to keep or not. And one of them uh, I'm for sure returning. I'm going to decide here in a little bit because when I go out later I'm going to return. Yeah, I got a phone call in there so I have no idea. No idea where I left off. Sorry. So I'm just going to put these cookies over here, I want to see if they, I think that's the perfect amount of doneness. I generally don't like to do cookies on 375, but I always say that I follow a recipe exactly the way, nice sentence, Kristen, exactly the way that it says to one time, and then I will change up things that I want to change up. So this one said 375 for eight to nine minutes. I always do, I always err on the lower side of things because I don't like anything overdone. I don't like, generally, there are a few exceptions, I don't like crunchy cookies. I don't like, I'm really kind of high maintenance, I guess, when it comes to my baked goods, but I just don't, I don't like things to be overdone. And things can go from good to overdone in a quick hurry. <laughs>